What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you the part 2 of my video with the best Cydia tweaks for iOS 10 jailbreak, being it 10.2 or being it 10.1.1, 10.0.1, 10.1 or any other 10.x version that can be jailbroken. So let's go ahead into it and I'm going to start with very very useful tweaks that you really need to get and the first one and probably the one that I love the most is called App Admin. I'm going to show you, it actually allows you to, let me show you, to get any version of an application from the App Store. So if I go here and search for Facebook, for example, Facebook, right? I can search for Facebook, but using this tweak, if I go here in the app and I click to get it, it will ask me something, continue and download the newest version or downgrade. And if I click downgrade, it will allow me to get any version that was ever released of the application. It works with all applications from the App Store, being them paid or free. And guess what? I'm going to downgrade the uh, Facebook Messenger because it now looks like I don't know what it looks like, <laughs> but it looks ugly. So uh, it's pretty useful and if you go ahead and do this, for example, I click downgrade and I, and I want to get the first version or the third version, it will start downloading it right away on my screen. So um, as you can see, it does it, but I uh, prevented the application from downloading because I don't want to get my band ripped. So uh, the next one that I, I'm going to present is actually called uh, adaptive color alert and um, if I click in here do not download yourself and I click to the, I don't know close or delete this as you can see the notification here the alert doesn't have that white um, background anymore it simply has a background that uh, actually copies the colors from the wallpaper and the colors that are actually um, uh, more present on the wallpaper will be uh, will be inserted in here. It hints on the red in this case, but if I put a green wallpaper, it will hint on the green. So if I'm going to delete in here, it will go away. Right, the uh, the next week that I'm going to present you is again pretty pretty useful and it's called no slow animations and probably it's implied what it does. It simply removes that slow animation when you open an app. Let me show you when I open Cydia how fast it starts. Boom, it started. No slow animations at all. Now, if I want to start, uh, I don't know, music. Boom, it starts, there you go. So um, this is basically what this tweak does. You can find it again for free in the App Store. And we're going to move on to the next one called Blurred. Blurred is actually a uh, tweak that's been around for quite a while now. And what it does, this tweak, is activates a black keyboard, well, a dark mode keyboard, anywhere you are. No matter what kind of application you're using, the tweak allows you to have a black or dark keyboard like this. As you can see, the keyboard is not completely dark, not completely black. It actually is um, a little bit transparent and allows it to copy some of the colors of the background. If you go to Cydia, probably it will be a little bit much more darker. Let me show you, I'm going to try it here. Yeah, as I said, it's a little bit more dark, but it copies the colors from the backgrounds. And it's pretty nice tweak to have. I don't see myself using it. I really like the, the white keyboard, but it's one to, to keep in mind. The next one I want to show you, it's pretty useful again for your uh, privacy and it's called delete forever. Maybe you have that kind of photo in your um, in your device that you don't want uh, to be in here and you don't want to have on the um, on the completely removed sorry on the recently removed photos album. So if you click in here, you can delete photo, which will bring it to the uh, recently deleted photos and you can recover it back, which is a bad thing if you don't know about the existence of that album and permanently delete photo. It will completely wipe it from your device and there is no way you can get this photo back again. So if I do this, goodbye. It won't ever be reachable again, which is pretty good thing if you ask me. The next one I want to present is rather interesting than useful and it's called a reach board. If you have reachability, you know, this tweak that does this on, uh, on an iPhone, uh, installed, well, it's not a tweak, it's a feature from the iOS, and you go, let me, um, let me go here to settings. If you do the reachability thing, it will show you what you have in the clipboard, and in my case, I copied a, um, sentence, I am a cat. So, um, 
It's pretty useful if you copy the link or if you copy the, an address, a phone number or even something, I don't know, it simply gives you access. For example, you want, you want to write a message by copying something. You go to the messages and then you, you know, you activate reachability and gives you the, uh, the text right away and you can copy it back. So it's pretty good, it splits the screen and gives you something to, to look at. It's pretty interesting. So we're going to continue with a tweak that I think everybody knows about, but it's still good to mention it for those who don't. Uh, it's called Anemone, it's this one with the pink, the, the uh, white star on the pink right here, and it actually is a theming platform. Uh, in fact, the theme that I'm running right now on the device is applied using Anemone. You can find Anemone for free on Cydia and you can download, of course, Cydia theme themes and they all will be listed in here. In fact, I have a lot of them in here right now because I made a video with 14 great themes that you can install on for free on your uh, jailbroken iOS device with iOS 10. So if I uh, disable the one that I have for the moment uh, called Real, I'm going to enable Lotus and you enable it, you click preview and it will show you how it will look like. Then you can click apply and it, it will apply it directly on the device. And as you can see, it changed all the uh, interface icons. And uh, this theme looks so dope, especially with this wallpaper on it. The uh, next tweak that I want to discuss with you is called Nude Keys. And remember when I told you how you can um, change the color of the uh, keyboard then with this tweak you can remove the squares and also change the um, the keyboard color. As you can see the keys are no longer in their own square, they are all on the same thing and it looks so dope. As you can see it's pretty damn cool. And you can also use it to change the color of it, sorry, you can change the color of, of the uh, keys by using background color enabled but you need to respring for that. You select from here anything you want, you can imp uh, input some hex and as you can see, it changed without a spring. It changed my keyboard right away. So it's pretty damn cool. I really like it, and it's pretty good. It, and it's free. So yeah, we're going to continue with um, with a new tweak called detailed battery usage. So uh, detailed battery usage is a new graph on your settings and it shows you the performance of your battery. Now usually you will see a lot of uh, information in here using this tweak but in my case I changed the uh, battery recently and as you can see the usage and the standby have some dash in here so I cannot, um, I cannot really see it but you can use it, it shows you a graph, you can zoom in, zoom out with hours, with date uh, and it will, um, it will allow you to see your battery performance how your battery is doing. You probably know that lithium ion or lithium polymer batteries uh, in this um, in these devices are bound to get, uh, I don't know, to get in a bad shape after a lot of usage or a lot of um, charging cycles. So you can keep on monitoring your battery in here. Pretty useful tweak, at least for me. And the last one that I'm going to conclude the video with is a tweak for messages called dark messages. And it's implied what it does. It brings you a dark mode to the messages, only to the messages. So it doesn't affect anything else. And combined with this uh, gray keyboard, it looks pretty good. So uh, yeah, it looks cool. It allows you to be, um, to have a, uh, an interface that's easier on eyes. And yeah, what I can say, it looks pretty cool. It really looks pretty cool this tweak and it's free. So dark messages. Yeah, this is actually it guys. I really hope you liked this uh, list of tweaks that I have. If you want, you can check out the first part of this video that I published yesterday containing even more tweaks best for and tested for iOS 10.x jailbreak on these devices. And till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Check out in the description down below a link with my four, top 14 themes to install on iOS 10 jailbreak, including this one, Lotus, and a lot of other themes for Anemone. And till the next time, I'm Joe Snow. Give this video a thumb up if you liked it. If you don't, give it a thumb down. Tell me in the comment section down below what is your favorite tweak from the list I, I uh, selected. What if it's not in this list, tell me down below. I'm going to include it later. Until the next time, peace out.